England versus Netherlands, Euro semi-final, who will make it through to the final? Can England do it? Is it coming home? Stay tuned to the very end to get my thoughts, very keen to get your thoughts as well. What's happening people? Welcome back to the channel, I hope you're keeping well. Uh, this is match preview for the semi-final, England versus Netherlands, Wednesday night, where England find out whether they make it through to Sunday's final against either France or Spain. Um, so compared to the lineup we saw against Switzerland, which saw us win on penalties, the changes that I would make, uh, I'd bring Gay back in from, uh, for Esri Konsa. Um I thought Konsa done an excellent job. To be honest you, stepping in and Mark Gay been really good this tournament, probably our, our best player, certainly in a defensive position. So he had a lot to live up to and, and Konsa delivered on that. So it's harsh on him, but Mark Gay's been so good. So in he comes back into that defence. Luke Shaw as well will be my second uh, other change coming in from Kieran Shepard. He just looked right when he came on. Um, and it, yeah, you'd better play in the left back rather than the right back in that position. So that's the two changes I'd make. If you change anything, let me know in the comments below. But we'd be glad to know I'm predicting an England win, which is very rare. Uh, so let's hope you know, it doesn't go the other way now. I predict us to win. I'm going 2 1 England. Uh, Foden brace. I think it'll be Foden's day. Um, I think that number 10 position with Bellingham suits him a lot more. Um, there's no reason why England can't bring it home, but we, we shouldn't say. You know, it has to, it's going to come home, it's can can we do it? Because, you know, France plays Spain, France have always found a way throughout the talk, they just found a way to get the job done, struggling in open play. A bit like England to an extent where they struggled and got the job done. Spain do worry me, a lot of flair, attacking players, and they're probably the, the best performing team of the Euros. But I thought we were in Euro 2020 and we didn't win it because Italy found a way. They, you know, they weren't great in the tournament, but they found a way. That's often what it comes down to when we get to the latter stages of an international competition. Any competition requires a bit of luck. So I'm feeling positive. Um, Switzerland, we showed signs were better. I think that defensively we were vulnerable at times, but generally we looked a lot better with Foden in that 10. Uh, and what was a back three at times, and Foden, for example, in that 10, and players in different positions. I thought Mayne was good, etc. So that's the lineup. Feeling confident. Get your score predictions in the comments below. And how do you think it's going to unfold? And who do you think is going to win? Uh, the Euros as well. But if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. It's free to do so and it helps the channel's content grow and improve. Smash the like button, turn the notifications bell on and come on England. Hopefully when I'll be talking to you, we'll be talking about England in the final. Who knows? Come on England. <laughs>